a lot of fun. You know, there's one thing that we that we uh, should have touched on too, and that's the the business side for players. Um, and and yeah. why, why, why don't you go on ahead? I'll um, I'm gonna just I'm gonna isolate you on the screen, and yeah. we can we can add that in. So you can go ahead and share, and anything you want about that. Okay. Uh, one of the very, very important things I want to add is um, for for any player, for all players, um, never forget that you have a business side um, that you have to tend to. In sports, as much fun as we have, it still is a business. And you want to make sure that you're positioning yourself to where your money can work for you and you're not necessarily having to constantly look for jobs. Um, you want to make sure you're doing as much networking as possible, rub as many elbows as possible to get to know, you know, the ins and outs and the people on different level mm -hmm. so, so that, uh, you know, you may have a business opportunity that come about um, in, in, in many different ways. Um, so definitely keep that perspective in mind. You're only going to be able to play for so long. You're going to be able to, you know, do business for as long as you know how to do business. And a wise man once told me that you can make more money with your head than with your hands. So, you know, keep that in mind. Um, I, I would recommend taking some business classes, um, you know, uh, business management, um, uh, personal budgeting, um, you know, just to, to stay on top of that thing. Uh, business math is another good one to take. And uh, just keep your eyes and ears open for those opportunities uh, to grow your brand as far as being a player, but at the same time, being able to transfer that into money-making opportunities for when your playing days are done. Welcome to the Elite One Recruiting Show.